Welcome to the channel, I'm the Scottish Astrologer and in this video I want to talk about the importance of the two upcoming micro full moons in the month of October and the major warning they are given to humanity, primarily regarding our food security. Now, the first of these two full moons takes place on the 1st of October and again as a micro full moon and it's the Hunters and Harvest Moon 2020 and it takes place in 9 degrees tropically of the zodiac sign of Aries. Now the second full moon takes place on October 31st, Halloween, in 8 degrees of the zodiac sign of Taurus. Now this full moon is also a micro full moon which means that this moon takes place when the moon happens to be at her furthest orbital point from the Earth. Now this Halloween micro full moon is also on top of a micro moon, a blue moon, as it is the second full moon in a single month. But because of the late planting and non-planting of crops this year due to COVID and shifting weather patterns, etc, bringing too much rain or not enough, due to the grand solar minimum. This second full moon of October on Halloween actually becomes the true harvest moon this year, 2020. As of course it will be a late harvest for most and it will be a very late October harvest at the very least which will coincide with this particular micro blue moon on Halloween. And I am sorry to say as you can imagine, this is not good news at all for our food security. Extremely worrying. But if you've been paying attention, then it is expected. This reading just totally backs it up and actually shows how bad it's actually going to get. Now, after these two back-to-back -back micro full moons in one month, the next full moon after that also includes a lunar eclipse. So we have another trio of astronomical events involving the moon occurring later this year on top of the trio that we just had involving the three back-to-back -back eclipses, two lunar and one solar, as you will all just remember. Now the harvest moon, October 1st. The moon is in Aries along with a retrograde in Mars which, although not quite in a conjunction during the initial moment of 100% illumination, as the moon remains in 100% illumination for a while, within hours, the moon will become conjunct with Mars, okay? Within hours after this precise 100% illumination point. And as Mars is a malevolent planet, it's a full potency okay mars is also at full potency as it's located in the zodiac sign of aries which it rules now this shows huge crop damage okay and it also shows that the crops have been literally fighting for their very survival battling now if they even managed to survive as most didn't now, not all crops, okay, I'm not saying all crops have failed, but a big percentage of them, if not have totally failed, are going to be producing yields that are way below what they usually are, way below the average levels. And this is a global thing. Now, Mars being the god of war shows this battle, and it even shows wars between nations actually occurring because of their own particular crop failures and their need to feed their people and or to secure new grow zones for themselves as their usual ones are of course now failed due to shifting weather patterns okay and that means that next season next season for many seasons ahead they won't be able to grow crops in the areas that they used to and this is going to cause huge problems and again potential wars okay not even potential I, I truly feel for sure that nations are already preparing for this scenario they're getting ready the war foot and the war drums are already beating loudly and we all can hear it 
You'd have to be deaf not to hear it, blind not to see what's going on right now. And this is an extremely serious and worrying situation, to say the least, okay? I'm very worried about it. Mainly because I'm seeing not enough people actually coming together to solve this problem. Okay, we're getting far too close to the point of no return and no one's actually fully prepared, okay? On the, people have, but not on the levels that are needed. Now, there has been a deadly combination of non-planting and, of course, the locusts that are currently ravishing crops, okay? And on top of that, of course, extreme or shifting weather patterns that have ruined crops, mainly through flooding, as because of the grand solar minimum we are in, this means more cosmic rays, which means more cloud nucleation and formation, which of course means more rain, which is all upsetting, okay, the natural balance of our agricultural norms globally. And on top of the planet Mars in near conjunction with the moon, we also have Pluto, Saturn and Jupiter, all in the zodiac sign of Capricorn, making a harsh square aspect to Mars who again within hours will be in a conjunction very tight with the moon. And so the harvest moon will be afflicted by both a conjunction with Mars and again a harsh square from the conjunction of Saturn, Pluto and Jupiter in Capricorn. Now Saturn rules Capricorn and is the other malevolent planet. And so it shows contraction and limitations, etc. And conjunct Pluto, also known as Hades, this is a very, very bad signal for global crops and food security. Very worrying. Now, Jupiter in Capricorn also represents changes in fortune. So apply that in a negative sense to our usually bountiful food supply. So again, expect and prepare for the worst in 2021 because that's when we're truly going to feel the shocks of this food crisis and like i mentioned before interestingly even though this is the harvest moon which i was just talking about on the first of october again most crops will be harvested late due to late planting so most crops that were usually harvested around roughly this full moon will not be harvested until at least the next full moon, which again is on Halloween. And just like the this one, it is also a micro moon, but again also a blue moon, as it's the second full moon in a single month. So this chart popping up on screen now, this is the chart that shows the Halloween micro blue moon in Taurus. And as you can see, the moon is in a very tight conjunction, as tight as it gets with Uranus, who is also in retrograde. Now, they are both in 8 degrees of Taurus, only a couple of astronomical seconds apart, 3 astronomical seconds. Now, this will surely, in my opinion, be the final whistle, if you like, for the total financial collapse and reset, as Taurus is all about money and finances, and Uranus brings disruptions, unforeseeable and sudden changes, and of course, new situations. So, bad for the crops and the financial markets and fiat currencies as the focus turns to securing food. Okay, that's going to be everyone's main focus is securing food come 2021. Okay, when shit hits the fan, shall we say. Okay, I, I truly, truly hope everyone prepares for it. I wish this wasn't the case. I wish I wasn't having to report this, okay, via this interpretation of this chart. But we all know what's coming, if we're honest. We could all feel it in our stomachs. We could all see it, okay? We can, we can, we just know what's coming, if you've truly been paying attention. And again, this chart is just ultra -lay confirming the worst, which I regret to say, honestly do. Now, Uranus was, of course, located here in Taurus to begin the Great Depression, okay? Back in the 1920s. So here we are again, and the climate certainly rhymes as it did back then. 
Now, Uranus has been in Taurus for a good, good while now. And ever since we have had financial turmoil, okay, ever since Uranus has entered here, I've noticed that's when the financial turmoil began to fully kick in. Now, of course, leading up to another even greater depression and or financial reset and digital currencies, that is the total plan. As again, Uranus, as it's a ruling planet of Aquarius, this is all about technological advances, okay, new technologies. And so the move forward when it comes to finances and money is obviously digital. And now for my long term subscribers, you will remember that I done a video regarding the harvest moon of 2019 and how it showed a reduced harvest, not total disastrous like this one is showing, but reduced all the same. And lo and behold, just like magic, 2020 begins and they begin to lock everything down due to a virus and there was not enough food on the shelves if as you will all remember. Now, they said it was because of panic buying. They said it was because of some supply chain disruptions, which all obviously makes sense. But was it all just a cover for the food crisis we have all entered due to the grand solar minimum? Okay, is that what they're failing to tell everybody? As this harvest moon reading is much, much worse than the last years. And we should all know it's going to be way worse just because of all the flooding, the lack of labour due to the lockdown, locusts eating crops in Asia and Africa and South America, okay? So you need to be aware of this and prepared for what comes next because it's not good for us, that I can tell you. As our leaders do truly want to depopulate us, okay? They will not fix this food issue for us, okay? It's down to us, the people, to grow, grow, grow victory gardens and victory greenhouses and indoor operations everywhere. That is the way forward and through this horrendous time we are all now in. Now, we are all in the birth canal, if you like, of the new age, the age of Aquarius. And so it's really tough, okay? And initially it's going to be tough. And there is going to be birthing pains, if you like, but we are nearly there. And once we make it through this initial period, okay, this hard initial period, this testing stage that I'm seeing it as, then things will be truly better. But the powers that be don't want us all making it there. They are trying to get us to accept their rule into the age of Aquarius, and they are currently getting their wish. But they will ultimately fail in the end as no one wants the hellish future that they are all currently trying to forge for us, okay? Lockdowns, masks, injections forced on us, famine and poverty, okay? Like, that isn't a future that anybody wants, so of course they will ultimately fail unless they do a major U-turn fast. Again, famine isn't their fault. They don't cause a grand solar minimum, but they are never, not letting a good crisis go to waste, shall we say. They want to depopulate, and so they're using that. They're, they're using the famine to depopulate. That's what they're going to use. They're going to have us fighting amongst each other for food, in my opinion. When, of course, if they were true leaders, they would have prepared for this stage, okay? Knowing what was coming, knowing about the cycles, they should have truly prepared their people for what's coming and educated us on the fact, told us what we all need to do. But they haven't done that, have they? Because they want total chaos, that is what they want. They want depopulation, chaos, and their continued rule through it all. Because ultimately, once there's enough of us gone, they will offer the solution, like they always do. Okay, folks, I think I've ranted on enough for this one. Huge thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button. Until next time, take care.